We have some wedding flowers that have just arrived. My name's Tyler, AKA Thrifts and Tangles. I'm getting married in June and I am trying to have a sustainable wedding. And this is, the wedding industry is just very wasteful. So I'm doing my best, um, but let me show you what came in the mail. I ordered um, from Something Borrowed Blooms and then I ordered from Silk Stem Collective to just see what, what exactly are our options for a sustainable rental flower. The reason they're sustainable is because these flowers get reused. I need something to open this package with, so I'm grabbing scissors. All right, so I pulled up Silk Stem Collective. They say rent beautiful, realistic, artificial bouquets and decor for less than one third the price of fresh flowers. Fresh flowers cost so much. I got quoted for like $2,000. I live in LA for some flowers and I'm just like, those flowers are literally going to be thrown out the next day unless you donate them to like, I don't know, a assisted living facility or a hospital. Like you can donate flowers to different places, but this is a rent and return program, which I feel like it makes sense because why not just get the most use out of these flowers? Cause I was looking at maybe doing my own flowers and doing that whole thing. But after I do my own flowers, what do I do? Donate them to the thrift store? Maybe they'll end up to going to a bride. I can't talk today. So I think the fact that they have an easy rent and return program um, that we brides can order and reuse and just keep the system going, keep the circularity of it all going. So they have bridal bouquets, bridesmaids bouquets, junior bouquets, boutonnieres, corsages, centerpieces, arch flowers, aisle mar markers, sign swag, garlands, wreaths, decor, and more. So I ordered a sample. The sample bouquets are $20 per bouquet. So after you order, you get a $15 off your future order. So you buy the bouquet and then they give you a $15 coupon to use in the future. Um, their flowers are really cute, really pretty. I like theirs specifically because they had like really colorful, fun options. Um, and I wanted like a yellow kind of flower and I couldn't find it anywhere. So they had an orange that was really nice. So I'll show you in a second. But the price of the bouquet, so larger bouquet is $66. And then let's see how much a bridesmaids bouquet is, is which is the one I ordered. The one I ordered for a wedding, not a sample would be $37. Okay, now that that's said and done, let's open this box. I already peeked, I, I literally already opened in films and Instagram content, so if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen all this. All right, so we just opened this bad boy up. Here's what the flowers look like. They're so cute and colorful. Okay, so the first flower bouquet is called, I think this is called Santiago. Let me fact check. Yes, yeah, Santiago. This one is really pretty and colorful. Look at that. Maybe I get my face out of it. That's super pretty, so if you just wanna see what it looks like being held. Lots of orange, lots of pink, lots of greenery, like a tropical kind of leaf. I really like this one. The only thing I will say is they seem a little small compared to something borrowed blooms flowers, um, but, if you're, but this is also the bridesmaids bouquet so it's going to be a lot smaller than what the bride bouquet is so yeah that one's super cute if you're having like a tropical summer wedding i could see you doing that then the next bouquet this is like i'm feeling like this is classic i don't really know if that's the wedding style but again this one has the pins on it as well it has some blush flowers a little like white flower with some navy blue that's my favorite flower on here to be honest it gives it like an interesting little pop that's how it looks Let's give it like a moment on its own. It's cute. This one is called Kyoto. Kyoto, which one do you like better? Let me know in the comments below. Do you like Santiago? Do you like Kyoto? So that's Santiago. There's the pins I told you about. It's so pretty. Kyoto is very pretty. All right, so yeah, let me know which flower you like better. Let's box this, box this back up. They had it where you can rate your sample and they gave you a free return label. Um, so that's really nice. So yeah, so let's box this up to return. I'm not going to go with these, but these are a really great option if you are looking for some flowers that are affordable. All right, and then the next company is Something Borrowed Bloom. They have such great branding. They are active on social media. They are always posting. I'm in their Facebook group. Their Facebook group is popping. Like, if you're a bride, if you want to get married, if you 
are just nosy about like what other people are doing like even if you're not getting married their group is so nice like they have a lot of brides who organically share their own like wedding flowers they ask a ton of questions they they do like lifestyle i don't even know how to explain this group it's so fun it's so active i think even after my wedding i'm going to stay in it just because i've never seen such a strong community like people will be asking questions about flowers that aren't even released yet like they're like and they like tease new drops of flowers and the the engagement they have in their community is brand goal so yeah check out their facebook group their description is rent beautiful premium silk wedding flowers from a trusted floral rental company they're female owned um, there's a lot you can find out about their founder. Like they're, they're so active on social media, like I said, if you want to learn about them. Um, if you enter your email address, you can get a free groom's boutonniere. They have vases, they have candles, they have lanterns, they have neon signs that you can rent. They have like little standalone like pumpus grass that you can put into a vase. They have so many options. They have wreaths, they have like all these different little things, but then in their actual collections, they have like a little dog collar. If you have a dog in your wedding, they have um, boutonnieres, they have aisle markers, they have bridesmaids bouquets, they have cake clusters. I don't think you can rent the cake clusters. I think you have to buy them, but um, you can. that's like something that you can keep. You can put it as like a cake cluster on your actual cake or sometimes photographers will take pictures, like teasers with your invites and stuff to start off your wedding. What do you call it? Your wedding gallery i guess <laughs> of photos right and so you can use the cake clusters to kind of be clustered like on the table um for your photographer they have centerpieces that come with vases they have corsages they have floral combs they have hair pin like they have so many things if you are getting married go <laughs> check them out i'm gonna put my um just dis my what do you call it my discount code on the screen um if you are getting married, I'm pretty sure the discount is Tyler15, but I'll put it in the description box down below too. Okay, I've ranted long enough about this. Let's unbox it. Let me actually move the camera. And here are the flowers. They have a ton of different collections. This is the W2 collection, and then this is Jane. So let me set this down and let's look at them a little bit closer so w2 is originally the one i wanted i wasn't sure if i was gonna like it because it's like an asymmetrical style but i think it's really gorgeous um i don't know that i don't know flower types but it has like some brown some blush some a little bit of greenery um and it has like the ribbon tied around so let me back up this is what it looks like again this is the the bridesmaids bouquet so this one's a little bit smaller in size i think their bridesmaids bouquets run for about $32, so similar to the price of Silk Stem Collective, but this one's just really pretty. I'm gonna do a close-up of it. So I ordered this one, it's called Jane. This one is so freaking cute. I love how green this is. This is great for a summer wedding. Let me back up to show it. This one's huge, it's a great size, but this is the bridesmaid's bouquet, I'm pretty sure. Um, but it, it's lovely. It has like little olives on it, like fake olives. But it's very pretty it has a little like I guess it's more off-white and then white and then like little peachy colors I guess so yeah out of these two let me know which one you like more I feel like my wedding's more like classic style so I'm going with this this is like traditional wedding classic wedding although it has a little spin because it's asymmetrical but this like I wish they could combine these give this one some more greenery and like well maybe not like that they did come out with one called Bianca that's kind of a mix of both but it has pompous grass and that doesn't really fit my wedding style so those are the floral rental options if you are a sustainable bride you can always rent your flowers so my mom went to savers and she found a ton of these silk flowers for this was three dollars 2.99 and there this is like aisle markers someone donated their whole wedding basically and they donated a ton of garland they donated a ton of Aisle markers I think they donated I don't know if they donated centerpieces like there was just a whole bundle of like you could tell someone had just gotten married so if you go to your local thrift store go often check all the time you never know someone might have donated like their entire wedding and you can get secondhand flowers you can find them online you can check Facebook marketplace I was checking them all the time you can check eBay you can check I'm um, a lot of like wedding rental sites I actually have a blog post talking about some of the popular wedding rental sites 
um, that you can get wedding dresses from used or you can also get decor from. So I'll put that in the description box and down below as well. You can probably do your whole wedding for under $500 if you go with a rental company, depending on who you choose. So those are two of the rental companies I checked out. I'm going to do a blog post on more rental companies if you are looking to rent your flowers. I hope that'll be a helpful resource for any of you sustainable brides out there. And yeah, I thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.